This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 Twin Rockwell Superficial Rockwell Hardness Tester, model 900-388. These dolphin nose hardness testers are designed to primarily test metals using the Rockwell Hardness Method via a closed loop, load cell driven control. This replaces the older weight loaded systems where the testing performance was not as consistent or as accurate as the current load cell system. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Let's begin with the unique design of this series hardness tester. The maximum workpiece height is 300 millimeters or just shy of 12 inches. The maximum workpiece depth is 200 millimeters or just about 8 inches. The most prominent feature of this model is the nose or protruding indenter. This design allows for inner diameters larger than an inch and a half to be tested. A standard design machine makes that operation very difficult. The Z-axis motor controls and the start control are here along the body. A mini printer is also on the right side. While the hardness readings, settings and parameters are all visible via the screen interface. To begin, let's move to the interface. We can point out some key features on the screen by pressing the setup key to get into the settings menu. Here you will find the following parameters to be set. Hardness scale selection, load dwell time, functions which includes upper and lower limit settings, statistics, diameter settings for corrections, and hardness conversions to another related scale. Next is communications, if USB or other output is to be used. Mode, either Rockwell or superficial Rockwell mode. Sound. Memory browse and print. And then finally date and time stamp. Taking a test is as simple as affixing your test block on the anvil and pressing the start button. The machine will automatically take the test and drop about two millimeter from the indenter when it's finally finished. The reading will then show on the screen. Taking another test is as simple as moving over the workpiece being tested a small amount and push the start button again. Note the auto Z axis can move automatically by using the controls on the side. The machine can perform a hardness test from any height position. However, if time is of importance, you may want to consider making sure the test starts from as close to position as possible. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 900 388 Auto Z Dolphin Nose Twin Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.